All right, guys, time for your daily drizzle. So as we talked about last week, we gave you a couple examples of some things that you can do with the TRX. Today, we're going to show you some stretches that you can do with the TRX. I've invited my friend Jen here. She's also one of the instructors here. So after you learn about these, you can come in and pick up her classes and learn even more. So the three basic ones we're going to learn today is we're going to do A, a chest stretch. We want to make sure that we keep the hands down below the shoulder, so that way we make sure that we get the pec and everything stays through the front. You want to hold any stretch for about 10 to 30 seconds, we'll say for general information. Next, you're going to take about two or three steps backwards. This is going to help open up your chest. You're going to bring your hands over the top of your head. You're going to walk forward. Now, when you walk forward, you want to make sure, A, you don't feel any pressure in the armpit. You want to feel the stretch all the way through the front abdomen and through the upper shoulders as well. Last but not least, Beth, if you want to come around here, we're going to turn it around and we're going to do a spinal elongation. So now, the thing that you want to feel with any of these is you're going to feel it. The idea is because we have so much compression from all the things that we do, taking classes, work, everything else, are discompressed. So by here, exactly like what Jen's doing, she's going to use her tail as an anchor to drop through. That's going to help open up through the lats. It's going to open up through the hips and the side. You just play with it a little bit. You can move a little right, you can move a little left, depending on where you may feel it. All right, guys, that's three quick TRX stretches. And if you want to learn a little bit more, join Jen in one of her classes or me in one of mine, and I'll see you tomorrow.